the Sangudo Sub, 170 miles long, which is 270 kilometers, services areas up to Whitecourt and beyond. After trains leave Edmonton, they pass through St. Albert and over the Sturgeon River on this wooden trestle built in 1909. From here, trains take approximately two to two and a half hours to reach the Rochefort trestle.
the Rochefort Trestle, located 70 miles, 112 kilometers from Edmonton, near Sangudo. The trestle passes over the Paddle River. And you may ask, what is so impressive about this trestle? Well, it is the longest wooden trestle in North America. At 2,414 feet long, and just over 110 feet tall, opening for service in 1914, these wooden trestles are becoming a rare find indeed. As I was awaiting for the train that we saw earlier to approach, I saw this high rail approaching me over the bridge. He stopped and I asked him when he expected the train to arrive. However, he informed me that due to some very, very soft ground that was found at mile post 16, the train had to wait until they did repairs, which could take many hours. Shortly after he passed, a ballast regulator and a track alignment machine went by. I decided to drive back to find out the area and have a look for myself. As you can see in the photo, there were some very soft areas. After many days of rain and trains passing over ballast that's wet, it can bring up the water level called pumping, as you see here. This pumping action creates a very unstable situation for heavy trains. I will have to return to this bridge at a later date to catch a train on it. <laughs> 